Hey y'all, Jake here. Um, I've seen a lot of people do gear reviews, different things like that. I decided I'm going to do one and just see what you guys think. I mean, a lot of this stuff I've been tweaking and rearranging for years. Um, without further ado, I guess let's get started. Alright. To start, I'm going to go with my weapons first. I've got a Coleman Camp Axe. I'd love to have that with me all the time. I've got my little Allen branch cutter. Nothing real fancy, just something that I could cut stuff real quick with. Smaller branches and stuff for firewood. Three different knife sharpeners are color coordinated with different grits. With a 25 foot length of paracord wrapped around them for easy storage. So in those days when you're stuck at camp and it's raining, you can sit there and sharpen your knife with it. Another sharpener, uh, uh, flagstone, sorry. Um, it's pretty thick and pretty durable. I mean, it's kind of heavy. So, I mean, I can swap them out for anything, you know, but that's more universal. Um, let's see. Sorry if I'm sniffing a little bit. I've had allergies really bad today. My multi-tool. You can tell it's got a carabiner on the back. I love carabiners. I love key rings too, because carabiner and key rings go together like love and marriage. <laughs> I'm sitting over there, so in this case. And then the thing that uh, interests me about this is um, a char cloth container. I just used a Vienna sausage case, put some foil over it, let it burn for a little while. Then I got my char cloth. I never really throw away any cloth that I have. I usually tend to keep it and try to make char cloth out of it. So waste not, what not, you know. Next thing. Oh, I forgot. My big old knife. It's my M4. Not a bad little blade. Pick them in Bud K. You can find them just about anywhere. This one's bayonet style. I think that's pretty much the way they come, so... Got a blood groove here. Not a bad little knife, you know. I mean, I carry it almost everywhere. For when I'm doing, like, log splitting and stuff, doing firewood and stuff, so. It's always good to have more than one knife in case one breaks. Okay, my boonie hat. Along with my face mask, my snow mask, and my wool go or gloves because the sun out here can be brutal so can the cold never be too prepared for that my fishing kit and hunting kit anything from snare wire to a little multi-tool to a yo-yo a fishing yo-yo assorted lengths of twine or fishing line it says snare wire, a couple like bobbers, weights at the bottom. Put that in there just so it'll stay dry in case I need tinder for a fire and one on a wet day. For those days where you just don't feel like going nowhere. <laughs> My flashlight. E-Tech, not too bad. 20 little LEDs in there. My Nalgene bottle. It's like my uh, go-to, if you will. Basically double of everything else with a couple extra things. My fire starter, the blue thing right there, which is from Light My Fire. Carabiners are in here. I've got pliers in here. I've got a can opener right here. A little knife in here. Key rings. Lighter. Assortment of twine. That's usually my uh, backup, like EDC. Not my bug out bag, but it goes in my bug out bag. It's my everyday carry. Pretty much the miniature survival kit, PSK. Um, let's see. 
a water canteen. So I usually carry two of these. And then the side right here, I've got a little size pouch. I usually carry a little trash bag. One little cheap dollar store ones, it doesn't matter anything to hold water. Inside of here also, I have my canteen cup. So I can boil soup, I can do stuff like that. Makes it light and easy. All in one carry. And the second one I like to carry just as a backup because you can never have too much water out here. My compasses, obviously. Got to have two different ways of telling. Direction. I'm out here in the Sonoran Desert, so everything's pretty much self-explanatory. It's a straight square grid, so... My medical kit. It's got compression bandages that came with this case. I picked it up at the thrift store. This came with it, but it was empty. I filled it up. You can tell I've got an assortment of band-aids. I've got scissors in there. I've got tweezers in there. I've got a tourniquet so I can tie off someone's arm to give them a shot. Um, what is that? Lidocaine. I've got cortisone. Neosporin down there. Just a regular, you know, personal first aid kit that you can carry every day. I try to make things EDC only because it's so much simpler that way. Their own carrying case and stuff like that. I think it just works a lot easier that way. A pair of binoculars are from Tasco. They're like 18 by 20s, I think. I picked those up at the thrift store too for like dollars on donuts. Then in here, I've got my thermal blanket with a glove in here. Right there, my Altoid tin right there is uh, my sewing kit. This is trail marker. It's actually the construction flags or whatever. But I've been finding them and they've been abandoned. So I've been taking them and collecting them and making strips out of them. So I can use them as trail, trail tape. Which works really well for me because if I want to remember a hunting area or bedding area for an animal or something, I can just mark it off and they won't know any different. So... Then my personal fire stove takes uh, fuel, as you can tell. Uh, it's a little fold-out stove. I picked it up at Miller Surplus for like five bucks, if that, three maybe. Yeah, I always try to carry that and have two or three means of fire starting methods. It makes everything a little bit easier. Now, some of these things are just strictly for convenience. The last couple of things I'm going to throw in here, like my knee pads. I added the knee pads because you know how you go and you get down and you're trying to make your fireplace and fire pit and stuff like that. It's just, it's easier on your knees and they weigh nothing. They're military grade. They're really light and nothing. You can strap them to the outside of your backpack and not have to worry about them. Things like that. That's why I added those. It's just for surely for a comfort because I might have bad knees. Now I've got a chemical mask, along with a, uh, it's kind of the same thing along as lines of my uh, rain poncho, but it's just a hood, it's like a chemical hood, I'm sure you guys know what it is. Then I've got a giant uh, scarf, kind of thick, a lot of people think it looks like a gun sock, but it's not. I carry this when it gets real, real cold. I've got my pilot pants that I carry with me because they're real thick and they're durable. If not, I'll usually carry my digitals. Um, my tent is a Golden Bear one person three season tent. It's got everything I need right here nice and neat and folded up. I can easily strap that to my bag and be on my way. Another thing that I think about is trail foods like Vienna sausage like I said before from my char cloth container. Different things like that. Something that's like peanut butter is excellent for that. This right here is my little hygiene kit. I've got my toothbrush, as you can tell. Got deodorant in there. It's got lotion. It's got different things like that. Just amenities that I could use while I'm out. Just to kind of keep myself clean, you know. So. And then, my backpacks. My Hydrostorm Tempest. 
that a friend, my brother actually gave me. He picked it up. I don't remember where he picked it up. I think it was dumpster diving, but it's like brand new, never been used. I've just sterilized it and cleaned it all out. It's got a nice little handle here. Pretty good too. Like a 33 liter, I believe. No, it's not. A, it's like a two liter or something. And then this is my main bug out bag. This is my outdoor product. 33 liter backpack. It's got the straps on the bottom. It's got the little clips everywhere that I like. It's got the belt or waist strap. Also with the shoulder strap too up here. It's a really good backpack. I've had it for a couple years now and haven't failed me once. So yeah, that's pretty much my gear review. And then my sleeping bag over there was Military Mummy. Rated for four seasons. So, yeah, tell me what you think. If anybody knows anybody who wants to go hiking, let me know. Go out camping for a weekend or do something like, like that, let me know. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I've got the sniffles badly today. So, yeah, just let me know. You guys be safe. And remember, where the trail ends, your journey begins. Stay hydrated, my friends. Have a good one.